Yo, welcome to Fly With Lauren, part of Art Fly Lynn. So, as you know, it's International Women's Day, something after my own heart. And I thought I would do you guys an impromptu little card pull. So, what do we independent women need to embrace? What's the advice? What do we need to embrace? <laughs> yes! Right, we need to be strong independent women is what that's saying. That's the fish. That is your work. That is your money. So we need to embrace our financial independence. We need to get our work right, our, you know, our future secure. These are all about our backing. So making sure that we, we are responsible ultimately for ourselves and um, that we're not... Um, well, I suppose like level paid, it's all those sorts of things. It's kind of making sure that, yeah, financial independence in a nutshell. What else do we need to embrace? What else? Yes! Right, this is like the most luckiest, most beautiful card in the deck. It's about our wishes. So we need to go after what we think we are good enough for. Don't let anything restrict you or anything hold you back because you're good enough. Whatever you wish for is right here in this card. So if you've got some business dreams that you go, oh God, I wish I could do that, but I'm in this job or um, I, you know, or something seems like massive, like, or I really want to own my own home or whatever that is, hello, look, this is what you can achieve. Your wishes are right here. You've got a look on your side, you're protected. Right, I want to see what is the final thing that you all need to know for International Women's Day. What else do we all need to either embrace or know which is going to help us grow? If spirit could not interfere it with some form of man, that would be really helpful. Wait for it. <laughs> what else do we need to know? Do you know, it's the heart. <laughs> That's funny. Right, so we need to do, go after things that we have passion for, um, or who we have passion for. I will let the cards have that. But this is about doing what you love. So it's about um, moving with an authentic heart space, not being afraid to follow your dreams, follow your heart's desire, and yeah, just operate from a place of love. Chase after whatever brings you that joy within your heart space. Um, let's get the moon cards, because these are my favorite at the minute. They're so telling. So. I didn't even hardly get to shuffle that, but I'm going to take the top card. Um, this is about your health. So this is about um, you giving to yourself. It's a very green card. It's a card of healing. It's about self-love. So definitely today, get that Prosecco on the go. I'm never afraid of a little Prosecco or a bubble bath or whatever makes you feel good. Go for a run. It's so gorgeous. I hope it's lovely outside with you. But this is definitely um, about your health and organization, putting strategy in place to make sure you're going to get your dreams, that nothing's going to hold you back. So you, some of you might need to feng shui your house. You might need to have a clear out because that's like almost like releasing old emotional baggage as well when you do things like that. But yeah, if this is with your business side, it's telling you to put very practical plans in place. If this is about you, this could be talking about your own physical temple. So what do you need to clean up? What's going to make you feel good? What's going to make you feel aligned and like you can love yourself? Because self-love is where you always start when it comes to the heart space, before you even introduce another. So definitely that is huge energy. Self-growth, if you feel like you've been going through hard lessons, it's to, it's to break you open, to make you rise. What else do you need to know? What else do you need to know for International Women's Day? What's it saying? Right. What is it? Right. Oh, do you know? No, I'm really pleased about this for you guys. And you know, romantic cycle begins <laughs> with the heart here. So for many of you, this can be love or it can be something that you love. So if this is a job, it's something that you're finally wanting to do because it's your dreams and you have passion for it. If this is a person, it's based on balance because it's Libra and energy. So it's somebody that wants to give to you. And also this is um, seventh house. So it's about your relationships that you have with others. So I feel like you're going to be bringing into your life people that have, or that can give to you as you can give to them. So if you feel like you haven't had reciprocated energy within a relationship. I feel like balance will be restored, justice will be given. If you've had suffered an injustice, I feel like you will hear or be able to move forward from whatever that injustice is. 
So I love that. It's about opening your heart space again. So trusting and allowing yourself to love if you've been holding back. Um, let me get one more. I'm just seeing what deck I'm drawn to. Do you know what? They're very simple, but I'm going to just use my playing cards. So you've got double split. I love that. What's it saying? So this is about ending anything that um, that's felt painful for you. So something maybe that you've had going on emotionally, it's saying, look, I need to start a new cycle. I need to let this go. I need to leave anything behind that, yeah, just consumes my mind, that, um, that has felt deceitful or that hasn't felt good. Leave it behind. It's time to close off any old cycles that don't serve you. Your next advice, this, I feel like this is connected to a specific person. So I feel like you need to shut the door on whatever that energy is with that specific person or move ahead just with another friend or, or it, it could even be about making your circle smaller. So maybe you had disappointment by somebody and it's saying, look, you don't need all those, these people. You just need a few good ones, uh, people that have got your back. What other energy is in it for you? Of course. Of course. Catching. So this is about a new start, a new job, a new home, you know, a new passion, a new career, a new start in love, whatever that looks like for you, it's like, here it is, take it. This is what I'm offering you. So this is gonna hopefully be fulfilling for your heart and I just want it to be healing for you, whatever that is, it's gonna be fair, it's gonna feel balanced, and that's what that's what they're trying to offer. One more and we will uh, check it out. I'll tell you what, let me get a different card for the last one. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, these are brand new, I've not used them before. Um, what spirit animal do we all need to embrace? Do we need to embrace? Ooh, that one. Ooh. Yes. Right, we need to embrace the lizard spirit. <laughs> So this is about dreaming the world into being. So what did I say? What did I say? It's about your dreams. So whatever it is that you're dreaming of, whatever you see as that 10 of pentacles, whatever you see as that lasting happiness, whatever you can dream, you can bring about. So many of you need to ask your angels for uh, helping them to align you to whatever it is that you need. Many of you um, need to start this new career, this new ambitious thing that you've been putting off or that you've um, got, got going and you're just about to launch in a big way. Um, it's adaptability, but it's, it's, yeah, it's just dreaming, dream big. So we all need to dream big. I hope that hits home and I hope that resonates. If it does, I'd really appreciate it. Again, if you can give it a massive like, if you can subscribe to my YouTube, drop on my Insta and my Facebook, really appreciate that. So happy International Women's Day and peace out.